And welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Thomas Was Alone. When we last left off we made a new friend James and he's all upside down. And we found out that Thomas isn't actually dead, which is great. So without further ado, let's get this started. Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot and a lot of people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems that awareness only happened somewhere around the network connection spikes. Tara leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Oh, not good. Oh, Sarah double jumps. That's amazing. How do we do this? Ooh, hardcore. Oh, you're too small for that. Too small for this too. Where are you supposed to go, Sarah? Thomas. Make it. Oh. Make it. Oh. There we go. I knew you could do it. She spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom channel through which all data flowed. Hmm. Sarah seems to know something. What can you tell us, Sarah? No. Where are we going? No idea where we're going. Light, why are you being so difficult? Yay! Sarah's got some skills. I'll give her that. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed Better long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. She, Sarah, would know how to escape. Great, right, looks like we're gonna get some answers. Finally. The Red One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long oh. as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled Me and this at his foolishness, but accepted his help.
Fast forward to activate. <laughs> Thank you. possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. <gasps> a curve? That's blasphemy. Everything must be square. Oh, come on. Forgetting that not everyone can double jump now. Thomas, come on, Thomas. Big, yeah. Are you good? Jump each? These were truly weak creatures. <laughs> they possessed heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. Oh, they're so up to it. Sarah, sense the presence of the fountain. Just Sarah. one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And then, escape. Thomas, get up there now. Very nice. Sarah? Oh, that is strange. Thomas looked at the glowing beam. List he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This, well, this was all knowledge, all of it, right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way from the shouting and the screaming. Oh, she's not good with this stuff, huh? Knowledge. 
Church. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cat who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through mm. the knee. Little cats. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe one of you guys to tell me. Alright, this is getting a little bit puzzling now. Oh, duh. There we go, there we go. to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. Fitting that the first act of sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architect knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. And it looks like we are on to chapter 7, and we got the whole crew together. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time. Woo!